So we're in the middle of a really bad ice storm that's causing a lot of problems. For example, this truck on this hill. He's trying to deliver this uh, crane piece here to a ranch up here, but uh, as you can see, a little crossed up and spun out and can't make it. The snow, as you can see, we had good snow and now it is, it rained and nasty on top of it. So we've got this ice layer on top that is coating literally everything and taking all the traction away. The other issue is this ranch up here where we're going, they've got equipment, they've got a dozer, they've got skid steer, all that stuff, but uh, everything gelled up. So none of the diesel equipment will run. So we might have to unload this stuff with the wrecker as well. So uh, he is gonna, he can back up. I think the plan is to have him back down here into this area so I can get the Zach lift up the hill in front of him and then run my lines back down and try to pull him up this hill. So we're gonna see how that goes. This is such a hard, nasty ice and it's a back and forth of some gravel for traction and some knot that I'm thinking of putting my V-bar chains on one of the axles just to grab into this because I might just run the auto chains up there and see if they make it. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. So while I'm walking back to the truck here and he's getting aired up and all that warmed up ready to back down the hill, do you guys prefer it when you know like at the yard getting ready getting the truck warmed up I explain what we're doing and then we drive there and we do all the getting there on all that or do you prefer when I just pull out the camera and we get started at the recovery? Because this is kind of how I prefer it, but whoa, let me know what you think. Okay, he's had to get it aired up. He's been parked here all night, so he had to take some time to air up, get warmed up, and I've been waiting. Now he's backing down, and while I wait, been awesome. watching some fab rats Great. use the drinking rings, to get a truck and trailer out. Now uh, he's gonna get clear of my way, and we'll see if I can make it up this hill. as well put the the v-bar chains on these have these big old cleats on them that really dig into ice so since i was waiting and had the time might as well play it safe and put them on okay we're gonna drop this down uh let's use yellow huh. so he's gonna see how far he can come up and then I'll hook to him from there. Yeah, play it safe and just let me pull you. Okay, we're gonna need this frozen sling, a couple shackles, and a master link. Pretty bad in the soft sling, it's not soft anymore. Look at all this is frozen together.
Look, even the sheath head's froze in place. There it goes. Yep. Uh. All the ice falling out of the pulley because everything's frozen to the drum. Okay. our remote. It's been sitting on the heater because I left it outside the toolbox. Alright. So I know a lot of people are going to comment that when you tighten the shackle bolt you're supposed to back it off a quarter turn, half a turn, whatever. And everybody who says that is wrong. The shackles are rated to with a fully tightened bolt and the shoulder hard against the shackle. Lead backing them off is the incorrect way to do it and takes away their rating. So we use a master link because it allows it to slide to center even when it's frozen so we're pulling evenly. Okay you're just going to put it in neutral and let me pull. And then once I get, we get up close, you'll set your brakes, I'll move forward, and we'll get you up over the hump. So, we're pulling now, as you can see. We're just going to pull him up the hill here. Hopefully this is a very boring part of this job. And there's one turn that might be kind of tight, they say. It might have to get his back end moved over. And then since the forklift, all that stuff is gelled up, won't run, we're probably going to have to unload all this stuff with the Zach lift too. So that'd be fun. He had a chain on that tire too, but it broke. You see it's laying right there. This guy is out of Florida, so he says he's ready to go back home. He says it's 85 at his house and he would much rather be there than here. And I don't blame him one bit. Okay, so I put my boom up higher to help dig my truck down in the ground to help anchor and pull. But as you can see, as we're getting closer, that's just going to make a bigger and bigger uphill angle on the front of his truck, which we don't really need or want right now. So since I am using my uh, yellow winch, it is off a separate uh, PTO pump, hydraulic circuit, and everything from the boom. So while I'm winching, I can lower the boom down and it has zero effect on that winch. If I was using the blue winch, the blue winch is on the same circuit as the boom, so then it would take pressure away from the winch drum to activate the boom, move it up or down. So right now I can go up, down, extend, retract with the boom, all that stuff, and have no effect on this winch I'm using because it's running off a completely separate PTO pump and is a completely separate hydraulic system throughout that whole, that whole wrecker body. Very handy. And that's why I went with the yellow, orange, whatever color winch, uh, yellow winch, um, over the blue one for this pull. Just bring it down a touch more. 
right there. I'm just going to get you over this crest right here and then I'll have you set all your brakes and I'll pull forward and bring you the rest of the way over. Okay, his tires on that side are on some good gravel and so is the trailer on the other side. So it should sit there, I believe. A little more. Right there. Okay, set all your brakes. Oh yeah, just stay no problem. Okay, I'm gonna pull forward. Get that back off the ground before we lift our spades up. Yeah, if you just pull that bit over a little. So setting the spades down there is one reason why I kind of like the V-bar chains when you're doing winch outs on a hill. Even if the auto chains will make it up it, um, when you lift the truck up in the air with the uh, um, spades, the auto chains fall out from under the tires and when you set back down you're on your bare tires on ice because the chains don't go back under until they spin a problem that nobody who's not lifting their truck completely in the air would ever have but um, in a wrecker it is something to think about so that when you set your truck down it doesn't slide away Perfect. This guy's paying attention and he knows what he's doing. And that's staying where I put it. Once your trailer gets up all the way over that hump, we'll see if you have enough traction to go from there. If not, I can pull as far as we need. Yeah. What's that? Yep. Yeah. What, what's your name? Killa Keith. Killa Keith? I like it. Alright, why don't you put it in drive and see if you've got the traction from there. Alright, I'll pull you. Back in neutral. Oh, you're going now. Yeah. Now, nah, let me pull you a little farther. You'll actually have better traction once you get over into that snowy stuff a little bit. So close. 
If that chain wouldn't have broke, it'd be a major help. Go ahead and steer that way a little. Okay, see what you have there. Okay, I'm gonna unhook and pull forward out of your way. So, the shackle will come back apart most times. And if it doesn't, that is the very reason they have this flat for using a wrench on or that hole for using a pry bar on. That is why that is there, because you are supposed to tighten the shackle bolt all the way till the shoulder is against the shackle tight. That is when they have their rating. If you back them off, that gap allows the shackle to move open and close, and that kills its rating. He'll have more traction here anyway. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how it goes. If if we have to do something different, we'll do something different. forward. Now I don't actually know where we're going. So I'll probably have one of them hop in that and uh, go up in front of us so that we know what we're doing. We got another bridge right here. This is what he said was the other tight turn, but I think that guy'd be fine. Might have to do some wiggling. Okay. those rocks over there before we get here. Let me look real quick. Ooh. Hold up. Can you get this rock here? Ain't gonna make it. But now he's got enough room to back out and get himself scooted over, so he'll be fine. Not gonna clear that big rock right there. So if you back up 
obviously not don't get your front end off the bridge but as straight as you can out there and come at it again you'll be fine i think He's got enough room to back up and do it yeah. now. So. Close. And he can back up into the neighbor's driveway there. That's fine. Yeah. He's already got the trailer yeah. two feet over from where he started out yeah. the first time. So. Yeah. And just go all the way back. Keep going all the way back into the weeds. Hold up, take it real easy. Go ahead, easy. Easy. Please climb up that, not slide off that. Oh good, okay, we're good. I'm going to kick the PTO on. Okay. If you want, um, you can just hook one end to the shock, uh, his tow point on the driver's side. again. We can eliminate this link and just go straight to that shackle. Okay, turn my way a little bit. Right there. Okay, release your brakes and I'm gonna go watch that to make sure it climbs up on the bridge. I want that to climb up and not slide off. I mean, the front one did, so I'd imagine it would, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I thought it would, but I figured it's safe to just stand here and watch. That just kind of wheel chocked him. Okay. Perfect. See if you can pull forward. Okay, good. All right, I'll get you unhooked. That'll work. Okay.
unload somewhere in here. Yeah, this is gonna take a little ballet between me and you because I'll have to get in place, then you get where we're gonna set it. I'll lift, you have to pull out of the way, and then I can back up and set it down. It'd be better if I spin the round, so I'm heading out that way. There's lots of room in the yard to turn around. Okay, either, either it doesn't matter which way you're facing, okay. as long as you can move forward and back, so I can lift, and then you can move out of the way, and then I can back up and set down. And then I can pull back forward, you pull back in, and we grab the next one and do it again. I'm gonna go see if I can get the bobcat running. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're getting rigged up here. I've got both cables to some master links to the half inch chain. I found the best place I think the hook to is just right around the end of the trolley I-beams. The chains fit up in there and nothing will move. So let's see what we get here. Whew, ice. Okay. Make sure everything wants to sit tight. Beautiful. Okay, you can pull forward out from under that. I'm gonna put it right over here. And then I'll have to, when I pull forward, I'll move over some so that we have room to set these here, not on. Those ones we can stack, but this one's kind of set off to its side, so. I don't know if I should ratchet strap that back or if I'd be fine just keeping it out farther. I think if I just keep it low and out farther, we'll be fine. Let's try some manual running here. So, we are gonna Boom it all the way out. We're just gonna watch our sheep heads. Okay. And we're gonna bring it down low. Pick our truck up. And I'm gonna very easily back it over there. Okay, that went good. My goal was not to swing it back into the underreach, and I didn't, so good. Uh, we need these blocks. Uh, this is a heavy ass block. You want to grab the other end of this? Yeah. I was being super ambitious, but I don't think I want to be that anymore. Right under that. Yeah, that way I can get my chains out of that one side. Here, I'll go around. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. Settle down. That'll do just fine. Good All right. 
Once I get this undone, I'm gonna move over and up so that we can bring those back straight across right here. And those we can stack up right here. Right. So once I get pulled back up over there, then you can back back in. Up and just make sure those chains don't catch on anything. I'll try to take it with them. I like it. Okay, now Keith is going to back back into place and I'm going to grab that top beam and we're going to do it next and then just work our way down. Get all these off of here. Awesome. See, this is why I don't wear spikes on my shoes because I got to creep back and forth very easily and very precisely and I can't have my feet slipping on the pedals. That means he could probably pick off these uh, smaller beams too. And then I just have to get these big ones. This would be really nice. Okay. And you go. Up. Okay. And you come down. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna. We have to roll this up, so we got to make sure we're not gonna hit anything. Oh, we got those beams right there. I should grab first. These, these, yeah. Don't want to dump these off. Okay, that's all tied on. Okay. Why so much twist? That's why, because it's sitting on this right here. Which means I need to go up on the blue a little to level it out. Now I can pick it up. To go straight. Nice. Okay. Uh, let me get up higher first so we're clear of everything. That way, I don't want those wires to snag something. Okay. Up, up, and away. Okay, you're good. No, I'm just gonna go straight back and set it over there. And I'll leave enough room that we can set those other two in between. I like those two smaller beams, the trolley ones. Yeah, I can get that. You can get those and I'll get those two big ones. Yeah. Unless you really want to try it with uh, that tractor. <laughs> I, I, was, I was willing to try it with the Bobcat, but it's got too new of a computer in it and it just keeps erroring and keeps quitting after I get it warmed up. No, it's all pissed off. Yeah. That'll stop some of the sway at least. Okay, I'll back up. Oh, it'd probably help if I picked up the spades. You know how many times I've gotten this truck and tried to move and drive off? I'm like, why won't it go anywhere? Okay, I lowered it down and used the underreach right on the hooks just to eliminate a bunch of that sway. It felt better that way. The underreach is not a support tool. Clearly it is. Okay. Now let's set it down. It's gonna wanna lay back. Oh well. That works. Well, those come out of there nicely. I'm gonna have to, that one might jam in there. Yeah, I don't like that. I brought this one back really far so I have room to just stay in the same back and forth and bring those beams in and set right here. The little beams is going to grab with the tractor, or he is grabbing with the tractor right now, now that it runs. Let's get our boom back up in the air and I will pull forward.
There's a big puzzle. Ready when you are. Yep. Okay, now it's time for the two heaviest pieces. Heaviest thing we're gonna lift today. Okay, so we're having to grab the back one first because uh, it's overlapped over the top of the close one. So that's kind of not ideal, but it'll work. Just gotta... I think we're pretty centered there. Got to get clear of this. All right, you're clear. Take it real easy and turn that way a little because I'm right close to your tires with my outriggers. Yeah, you're gonna clear just fine. Perfect. That's a big piece. I'm sure we'll become friends. <laughs> yeah, because this has to go back up at some point. Okay, I'm going to try to bring this out and stick it in there as a stabilizer, which I think it will do. Oh yeah, we got this. So now if we just... And then all right nice
get that other little piece off. Yeah. Okay. Well, up there. Okay. I'll get this one done while you grab that. All right, we're backed up. Yes, that's a lot of ear angle. I agree. But everything is okay if we pretend it is. And I have finally found a gripe about this Zach lift. These two buttons are so close together that it's hard to run both winches at the same time with big snow glove hands on. So if you've got big hands and big snow gloves and want to run both winches at once, these buttons are really close together. Totally, totally unacceptable Zach lift. Can't believe you'd put out something like that. But I guess if all I've got to complain about is such petty little things, that means they did a pretty damn good job with the rest of it. So, I guess I'll keep it. Oh, I can do both, but I have to get my fingers right next to each other to do it. Or I could just run it from the controls over there and it's not an issue at all. One more. I like this driver. He knows what he's doing. Very easy to work with. Okay. Tighten in some lines here. Since this one's a lot closer to me, I don't have to be flat sticked out so far. I'm not gonna have nearly as bad of a veer angle as when I was trying to reach out. Don't want it to slide forward, so I'm gonna lift with the front first that blue line's pulling back towards my truck. Now we go straight up. All right, clear whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. 
I guess I will have to tighten up those lines and create that same beer angle to make the underreach work as a support again. But I feel like that's better than swinging this thing back and forth. So we'll do that. Can't wait for all the rigging comments. Okay, so I have to bring them down, which will open up that space to where I can cable in on both and then extend out to support it. Now we can back up. Okay, we can get our support out of the way. Then I'm just going to boom in some, drop down. I feel like it should be tipped one way or the other because it's going to do that sooner or later. Yeah. Do it controlled then. That's exactly my thought is do it controlled so it doesn't fall later. All right. Hey, okay, now we pack it up. Same to you. You made it easy. He says he's ready to get back to Florida. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, that all went good once we got up the hill. Yeah, it went actually pretty smooth, really. Yeah. Unloading was actually easier than I expected. Yeah, that went really good. Went really nice. I'm glad you got that tractor started. That made the little stuff way easier. Yeah, and the the buckets and the the boxes and shit. Yeah. So how long till your bar, your shop's all finished and done with the crane in it, so I can come over and work on stuff? Yeah. I got the tools and the welders and all the pipe benders. Perfect. And, we can... and my my house is like, what? Probably a half a mile that way. Speaking of my house, we're headed back towards it. But, just for fun, since we're at the bottom of the hill the truck got stuck on, I took my V-bar chains off, and we're gonna see if I can go up it backwards with just the auto chains. For no other reason than just to see if we can. can. Anyone's wondering if the auto chains work? They do. And just to show, that's all I'm using. They already took the V-bar chains off up the hill there. The auto chains are down and under the tires like they should be. And just back this truck up that hill. So when I was questioning whether I'd make it up or not without them, I definitely would have. That's it for this one. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.